Bro, I have negative battery. I have another battery right here. I might um, implant that in a minute. What I want to talk about today is the dangers of having a job. And in parenthesis, I put lifestyle lifestyle inflation. Yeah, that's my idea. I've got an idea. I'm running through my ideas and I'm recording them and then uploading them to YouTube. The dangers of having a job is that in a job, you can often become incredibly complacent. Incredibly so. And because you're becoming complacent, it makes it so that it's immensely difficult for you to actually get shit done in your own terms. Because the, how the education system has wired us is that you are a person that should be... What, and what, How do I say this? That should be listening to listening to instructions. That should be complacent, compliant, listening to the boss. Always listen to someone higher than you. And this often makes us so. When we become adults, it's incredibly difficult for us to actually focus on the things that we need to focus on: our own little side hustle, our own little business, our own little YouTube channel. It, it because of the education system. And I'm not telling you to drop out high school like I did, to drop out college like I did. I talk about it all the time, and this is why uh, I'll make another video. And this is why I'm an absolute idiot <laughs> because of my choices so far. And I go into detail of what every negative choice I made so far, and and trying to break down and build on these choices in order to make the bad choice overall now. That's the best possible thing I can do. But kind of so dirty, like. I keep getting sidetracked. I keep getting, I, my eyes keep darting all over the place as well. Because of the nature of the job. I remember I was still working a job at one time. And I actually felt really sorry for my boss. Because she was like 60 years old. An, Asian, an old Asian woman who was 60, 70 years old. She was like 67. And she was still working her job. Her kids all went to university. Her kids all like finished university. Went through the education system. Wow, really proud. You're going to university. And after, after all the university shit, I heard that her kids were like, Bums, they didn't do anything to contribute to the family afterwards, which resonated with me, which is why I kind of like felt complacent in my own job. Oh, yeah, I'm working a job, at least I could contribute to my house for my family. No, you can't. You're earning minimum wage. Fuck. The money that you earn can be swallowed in a second. Spending money is easy, earning money is hard. The, the problem with. Uh, the problem with. <laughs> I, need, I haven't even brushed my teeth. I woke up and immediately started recording videos. <laughs> it kept disgusting. The problem with the job is that I became so complacent, but I kind of hated my life afterwards because I finished my shift after like a 12 hour shift. I finished at 11 pm, and then, like, I'm on Warren Street. Warren Street is supposed to be like this beautiful central London place, when in actuality, it's a fucking failed society. And there used to be like crackheads. Going down the thing, I asked literally. I was trying to, I was lost, right? I made like the wrong turn and I got lost. And and then thereafter, I literally was asking a guy, I thought he looked normal, but, in, but he actually wasn't normal, he was a fucking crackhead. I asked him, Hey, do you know the the, the, uh, the direction to the nearest train station? And he was like, hur, 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 hur. And I was like, Bro, I'm fucked, like this guy. And then he stepped, kept going close to me, and you know, I did. I did the smartest thing on the chessboard. I fucking, I didn't sucker punch him, I didn't do any violence, I just ran the fuck away. I ran the fuck away. I don't want to be involved with any of that shit. I don't want to be near him. I don't want him to be near me. Fuck out of here. I just ran. Then I got to the other bus stop. And then, not the bus stop, the other train station, the other train station. And the commute home was depressing. The commute, everything was depressing about that shit. I cannot describe to you the amount of depressing, expressing emotions I felt. That time. And then I used to spend money on like comfort food, like McDonald's and shit. I don't spend anything on my food, on my money on a lot of things. I got a candle light for three pounds. This is two pound fifty. And then I, I I got like other books. I, I was gonna buy like more books, but that's about it. So books and food. So information and um food. That's all. That's all I spend my money on. But then I like, can I can get books for free. Like it's just fucking in the free PDF. Pardon that shit. 
But I don't like pirating books because I like actual paper instead. So I was gonna buy all the all the books that I am um, reading really at the moment. I'm gonna buy it on my Kindle, which is broken. So my Kindle's broken right here. My mom smashed it when I was a little kid. I want it in like some book fair. Completely broken. Smashed. My hair's all look stupid. Whatever. I walk out. Bad hair. It's like 16 hours. Can you believe it, guys? I actually don't want to go back to a job. It's kind of like entitled to say, but I still have to get a job. Considering the place I am now, but I don't want to go back to get a job. It's quite depressing. <sighs> Catch you guys in the next one. I have to make this YouTube shit work. Like I kid you not, I have to make this YouTube shit work. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.